I'm getting back to you after Microsoft Inspire when new AI features were announced by Microsoft. And not only Microsoft 365 Copilot exciting us right now, also Bing Chat Enterprise was released. In this video, I would like to introduce you to that product. What is the difference? What is the pricing? And should you really be considered to use this solution inside your organization? What are the benefits? What are the challenges? And of course, how to enable that solution for your organization. And first, why we are talking about Bing Chat Enterprise Microsoft 365 Copilot at all? First of all, we need to recognize that Microsoft invests in the AI features provided by OpenAI, which is the company behind ChatGPT. And plan behind this strategy is to bring AI power, so chat with large language models behind, to improve the way how we collaborate using Microsoft 365, to totally change the way how we searching for the content in our browser. So to get rid of the Google model when we pasting the fries and we getting thousands of links that we need to browse through to the model that we asking the chat model about something and this model delivers us the information which is more or less the way how Bing Chat works right now. Bing Chat Enterprise is enterprise solution that is alternative for the Bing Chat, which will be provided for the enterprise customers using Microsoft 365. This is the solution that you should know if you're working with Microsoft 365, to know the value and also to bring that value to your company. In the rest of the video, I will introduce you what are the differences between ChatGPT, Bing Chat, and what is most important, Bing Chat Enterprise, how to enable this solution and in your organization, and what is the most important thing, is it at all valuable to do that. If you will like this video, please leave the thumbs up. If you want to get the notifications about the new videos, please subscribe. And before we will drill down to the way how Bing Chat Enterprise could be rolled out to your organization and what are the benefits behind it, let's drill down a little about the information that we already know. First of all, the licensing of the product. Bing Chat Enterprise will be product available without additional costs included in the licenses that you own if you're using Microsoft 365 subscription, it means Microsoft 365 Business Standard Premium plus Microsoft 365 E3 E5. And you can see that Office 365 E1, E3, E5 licenses are not listed there. For these subscriptions, this product will be available for the additional $5 per month subscription as an add-on. And you can already see this tell us a little more that Microsoft position Microsoft 365 subscriptions in different way than old, very well known Office 365 subscription. This is probably the first time that difference is visible so heavily, but from my perspective, sooner or later, we will see much more elements that will try to move you from Office 365 subscriptions to Microsoft 365 E3, E5, if you are not already there. Of course, element that is required there is highly secured environment, but again, the costs are a little different. For Microsoft 365 subscriptions, this product will be available for free. By design, Microsoft 365 will have turned on Bing Chat Enterprise in the future, Right now, you have to enable it by yourself to get access to this functionality. If you have luck and you're using Microsoft 365 subscription, this product is free for you. But at the same time, why you should consider using Bing Chat Enterprise? First of all, this will be, let's say, from functional perspective, standard Bing Chat functionality. So chat-based AI-powered search engine, but with much higher privacy. So your 
colleagues, your business users can use Bing search engine powered by AI, ChatGPT functionality behind it, use your corporate data, and it will never be shared by Microsoft. It will be never shared with other users of that kind of functionality. And if you will think about it, having that kind of functionality for Google, maybe it should be a standard because if we have corporate informations, corporate data, internal sensitive informations, we should be able to use that data to search for another information around the world. But at the same time, we shouldn't have be forced to share that data with the search vendor or with the other companies that are using the same search engine. Microsoft provides Bing Chat Enterprise that will cover that. So you can already see we have two elements that could force you to change your mind to be interested in Bing Chat Enterprise. First of all, in many cases, this product will be free for you. And second, it will improve the security and privacy of your business users without any additional costs. So let's see how that kind of product differs when we compare ChatGPT, Bing Chat and Bing Chat Enterprise. Let's start from see how ChatGPT search engine looks like. So we have the chat who can answer our question and delivered us some capabilities. This is the free service. We don't have to pay any additional fee, except we want to have faster access to the new versions or more capabilities. Then we need to move to the ChatGPT Plus, which is around $20 per user per month. So let's see what will happen if we will ask the chat, what is Microsoft company? As soon as we will start ask questions for the ChatGPT, ChatGPT will deliver us the information about the topic we're looking for. The challenge about it, it's very difficult to predict if these informations are accurate, we don't have any references, what is the source of that data? Plus you need to remember that ChatGPT in version three is using the data available till 2021. Again, these informations could be very useful, could be really great solution to gather some ideas, but at the same time, it's not really search engine experience. If we will move to the chat GPT available as a part of the new Bing, so Bing chat functionality, we get the access to very same functionality using Bing engine for the search engine. So let's see what are the main differences here. And if you will ask Bing chat for the very same question, you will see we get very similar answer, but at the same time, few additional elements will be available here. You can already see very similar structure of the format, but first of all, we get the references about what is the source of the information we're getting. This is something totally different. We can verify if this is information that is true or not. Moreover, we can deep dive using the links available in here to check the information available for our organization. And again, the biggest value behind that model of searching is instead of clicking and digging to multiple links, we have direct answer to our questions with the reference to other solutions, to the other websites that deliver that information to us. So what is the value behind Bing Chat Enterprise? First of all, your data is protected and will never leak outside of your organization. The data is not saved by Microsoft, is not shared with other customers using Microsoft Bing Chat. If you want to improve privacy and security of your organization, frankly, this should be the native approach of doing that. So if you want to get access of AI power search engine, you should use Bing Chat, but in the enterprise level. Moreover, you can control access to it using Azure Active Directory and this functionality is free. 
So how to enable this functionality for your organization? First of all, you need to be Microsoft 365 customer with Azure Active Directory enabled with global admin rights or search admin rights on the Azure AD or Entra ID level. You need to open Microsoft 365 Admin Center in the first step, go to settings, search and intelligence, and in the search, you need to enable Microsoft Search in Bing setting. Use change button to do that. And the only thing is to enable this tick in here. This will bring integration between Azure AD and Big Search Engine that is available for your users. And finally, it will deliver the Bing Chat Enterprise integrated with your Entra ID or Azure AD. This is the first thing we need to do. The second step is to open dedicated link available in the description of the video that allows you to turn off or turn on Big Chat Enterprise. Remember, this functionality will be soon automatically by design turned on by Microsoft, but I highly recommend you to turn it immediately. Again, it will increase the security and privacy for your users it's very difficult to lose in that kind of a change. Again, for the Microsoft 365 subscriptions owner. So turn on this feature, confirm that by using this button. And after a few hours, you should have access to the Bing Chat Enterprise where your data will be protected. You can see enabling Bing Chat Enterprise is not difficult. If you have Microsoft 365 subscription, my recommendation is to do that as soon as possible and to start to promote Bing Chat Enterprise as a one of the search engine used in your organization. I will not expect that your users will move from Google search to Bing Chat Enterprise, but at the same time, more and more users will start to use AI capabilities to find the answers or to get some responses that will deliver faster, immediate answer for the questions that they will have or prepare better responses for the doubts that they will try to address. Bing Chat Enterprise will bring additional layer of security and privacy for such a work, something that is not present today if you're using Google search engine and Bing chat in the private version. If you are a Microsoft 365 user, this is no brainer. You have to implement that kind of functionality and again, bring AI power to your organization without any additional costs. I hope this video will help you to understand better. What are the additional values behind Bing chat enterprise? Let's wait for Microsoft 365 Copilot and learn more about AI power around Microsoft Enterprise Business Solutions. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.